Why you, I wonder? Sure, you're nice and pretty, but I don't think it's that. It's just you. Are you the one I've been waiting for all this time? I know you. I feel like I've known you for a very long time.
You're the only one there is for me. The only one I want. So please, stay with me. You have such a kind heart. You shouldn't give so much of yourself to me. I'll probably make you sad. It's just a feeling I get. Even though you're so precious to me, it's probably wrong of me to feel this way. It's like a forbidden love. Please, touch me. Make sure that I exist. Feel for yourself that I'm actually here. Your hand is so warm. It brings tears to my eyes. Why is that? Please tell me. It's painful deep inside. I've been looking for you. What are you doing here? Well, to answer your question, I ended up here when I came to my senses. It's strange. The sky and the ground look so weird. And there's no one here. Something terrible has happened here. Have you forgotten? Forgotten what? The dark hour. A time period few people are active during. But you, you've somehow adapted to it. Too well for a human, in fact. Yes, it's all so clear. Now, I understand the reason behind this feeling I sense when you're around. You are not good. You are... my enemy. Your enemy? Enemy? That's right. On a night like tonight, the moon was full. It was long ago. Yes. We met once before, as adversaries. Who... who am I? Who are you? I am Igis, the last remaining anti-shadow emergency control weapon. A machine created to destroy shadows. Created to destroy shadows. And you, your true name is Death. You are the shadow I sealed away ten years ago. <sighs> Yes, it was ten years ago, the night I was born into this world. I set foot on this very bridge. The sole purpose of my existence is to destroy shadows. It is for that reason that I was given a personality and a persona. I am the Thirteenth Arcana. I was never meant to be. Everyone called me Death. But when I was born, 
A part of my power shattered and was strewn about. As a result, I was incomplete. Even so, you were far stronger than I anticipated. Since I could not defeat you, my only option was to seal you away. Under the circumstances, there was only one suitable vessel. A human girl, who happened to be nearby. I had no other choice. I see. I was inside her all this time, and I unwittingly led her to my twelve missing pieces. And then... I see. I understand now. I remember everything. Who and what I am. A machine is created for a purpose. Mine is to defeat you. That is the purpose of my existence. It doesn't have to be that way, I guess. Palladian! Don't be foolish, I guess. I'm different than before. There's no way you can win. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. This mission appears impossible. A machine that cannot fulfill its purpose has no worth. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm scared. Juno! Wait, did something happen? Yukari, is something wrong? Well, it's a full moon tonight. You noticed it too, didn't you, Senpai? Jeez, oh, I'm starting to feel like a workaholic. <sighs> oh no, did something? We don't know anything for sure. However, we can't find Igis. Huh, where would she have gone? I sensed a persona, but it quickly disappeared. And soon after that, I couldn't detect Igis's presence. Could it have been Strega? Well, she hasn't sensed any of their members, but we can't be positive. I've confirmed Igis's location. She's on the Moonlight Bridge. All right, call the others. Let's see what's going on there. I'm sorry. I... I... remember everything. Who I am. Who he is. I know why I wanted to be by your side. I'm sorry. I failed. I'm... Sorry. There's no need for you to apologize. You? <sighs> Ryoji kun Wait, what are you doing here? I guess. What's going on? It's all my fault. What? You did this? Akihiko, wait. He's not showing any signs of aggression. Tell us, who are you? What are you? I'm the same as the beings you call shadows. You're a shadow? I'm the embodiment of all shadows. The Apprizer. Born from the union of the Twelve Arcana. The Apprizer? I remember everything now. The frightening truth about myself. And shadows. It's all so hard to believe. You know the truth about shadows? I do. What? The shadows are here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. The maternal being will begin to awaken as she is drawn to me. The Apprizer. You. You're the Apprizer? That's right. What is this maternal being? She is a great entity. There is no comparable word in your language for her. 
Ten years ago, a man collected a great number of shadows and contained them in a laboratory. That's where I was born. But the unification was interrupted, and I awoke in an incomplete state. Not long after, I fell to Igis, as she did to me. Igis? Is that true, Ryoji? She knew she could not defeat me, so in an act of desperation, she sealed me within a child who happened to be standing nearby. That child grew up, carrying me inside her. And by a twist of fate, she later returned here, as a transfer student. You mean... Yes. I lived inside her. Inside her? Her special persona awakened, as did the Twelve Shadows, all in order to become one with me. Ryoji's the Upriser? A and he was inside her body? None of this makes sense! It's all my fault. I'm sorry. There's more I need to tell you. Ryoji-kun! He appears to be exhausted. Let's let him rest. We have Igis to attend to as well. We'll continue our talk later. He's awake now. Let's meet tonight on the fourth floor. Okay. All right then. I'll see you later. Damn that Ryoji. <sighs> Is everyone present? Are you okay, Ryoji-kun? Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks. Besides, there's more I have to tell you guys. Ryoji-kun... There are many questions we need answered. To begin with, you said shadows were here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. Please elaborate on this. The maternal being is called Nyx. Who the hell's Nyx? Nyx is the mother of shadows. In ancient times, she bestowed death to this world. If she is awakened, darkness will once again cover the land and all life will vanish. All life will vanish? Are you saying everyone will die? It would be more accurate to say that everyone will forfeit the will to live. Uh, are you talking about the lost? Fall. But it's still possible to keep it from happening, right? What? There's no way to prevent it? I'm sorry. Wait, what are you apologizing for? Are you saying it's for certain? Yes, you heard the bell. I'm the appraiser. The appraiser of death. My existence is the affirmation of the fall. The affirmation... of the fall? When? When will it happen? I'm afraid you will not live to see spring. But that's not too far away. <sighs> <sighs> what are you guys freaking out about? All we have to do is defeat this Nyx. And that won't be a problem, because we've never lost. Defeating Nyx is impossible. It has nothing to do with strength, ability, or power. Just as all living things die, and the flow of time is continuous, Nyx cannot be defeated. What? That's bullshit! This is all so sudden. I was born from a collection of shadows. But now, I have a human form, so I can talk with you, laugh with you, cry with you. All gifts I received because I was inside her. Of all the people on Earth, it was she who carried me. <sighs> Thanks to that, 
I am able to give you a choice. A choice? Nyx's coming cannot be avoided. But it is possible to live in peace until she arrives. You'll have to... kill me. If I were to disappear, all memories of the Dark Hour would disappear with me. As would any recollection of the fate that awaits you. You won't remember anything. The coming of the Fall will be instantaneous, and you will not suffer. We'll forget everything? You'll be able to return to your normal lives, and in doing so, the time until the Fall will be slightly delayed. In essence, I am the same as Nyx and cannot be killed. But thanks to her, there's a part of me that's... human. So if death comes from her hands, I think it may be possible. Ryoji-kun! If you don't kill me, you will suffer more than you could ever imagine. With no hope for salvation, you will live every day paralyzed by the fear of your impending death. And I... I don't want you to have to endure such pain. You are so kind. I'm sorry to put you through this. I don't want my memories to be erased. To forget everything would be like hiding from the truth. Would that really be such a bad thing? All that awaits you now is despair. You don't know the terror of absolute death. Please, don't make your decision without at least thinking about what I've said. <sighs> Why is this happening? <sighs> you don't have to decide right now. You have until December 31st, New Year's Eve, to think about it. After that, I'll dissolve into the blackness of the Dark Hour and become intangible. Ryoji... I will disappear with the coming of Nyx anyways, so don't worry about me. I'll be back on New Year's Eve. Hey, Ryoji, wait! Ryoji-kun. We will see him again on New Year's Eve. Hey, long time no see. Midnight's just around the corner. At midnight, I will change from this form into something unrecognizable. So, have you reached a decision? Okay, I'll be waiting in her room until midnight. Come see me when you have your answer. Ryoji-kun. Oh, and one more thing. Don't let the fact that you'll have to kill me influence your decision. As I said before, I'm going to disappear anyways. I won't feel any pain by dying, so there's no need to worry about me. I'll be waiting. Have you made your decision? I see. Have the rest of you made your decision? No need to ask me. You know how I feel. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't on board. I'm with the rest of you. I'm in too. I have made my decision as well. Then we're all in agreement, yes? Better let him know then, okay? Hey, I didn't think I'd ever be in this room under circumstances like these. I had a good time, you know, back then. Don't tell me you've all decided to let me live. You're all going to risk your lives on a battle you can't win. But you're the only one here right now, so... I'll say this one more time. If you kill me, Tartarus, the Dark Hour, and your memories of the battles will all disappear. Tomorrow, you'll wake up a normal high school student. You'll be able to live in peace until the moment of the fall. But if you let me live, you'll spend every waking moment until that day in fear of your inevitable death. Nyx cannot be defeated. It's useless to fight her. Are you still thinking? Or have you already made up your mind? I guess my words didn't change your mind. There's still some time until midnight. I didn't want to have to show you this. But I have no choice.
see? I'm not human. I will bring death to this world until I am finally satiated. Do not hesitate to kill me. I want you to think about this carefully. Is facing Nyx really the best decision? Some things in this world cannot be changed. You do not understand this yet. Memories are ambiguous. Old ones can be replaced with new ones, creating a new reality. Don't you want to end all your friends' pain and suffering? It's up to you. You're the only one who can make this decision. Now, this is your last chance. Tell me your answer. Please, kill me. I don't want you to suffer. I understand. It's regrettable, but it's your life. You can do what you want with it. I will respect your decision. <sighs> Let's go back to the lounge. I need to tell you guys how to confront Nyx. Oh, I should say my farewell to you, shouldn't I? This is the last time we'll be able to speak like this. Thank you. Goodbye. And... I'm sorry. I wish we could have had more time together. It was nice. I'm glad we met. I'm glad I knew you as Ryoji Mochizuki. I'm glad we could share these last few moments together like this. Thank you. Could you... hold on to this? It's proof that I was human. For however short a time. If you held on to it for me, I... I think I'll be able to stand it. I love you. We should go back. The others will be worried, I'm sure. 